The Alluvian right. Hotel is another great, uh, I, I'm mentioning some of these works, I'm trying to encourage people to go out and, and get a copy of the book, well, which okay. available at fine bookstores everywhere. It looks like there had been a rain shower. Right, it's after the rain. Mm -hmm. Do you, and that's that's something you chose to put in. Why, why did you, uh, as an artist, why did you, instead of drawing a beautiful sunny Alluvian, well, why the rain? Because I, I, one thing reflections can do is tie painting together, help tie painting together. When you put reflections in, I like to work with reflections. What is your personal favorite in the whole book? Uh, you that, mentioned... That'd be hard to say. It'd be... I, there's, there's several. It's hard to narrow it down to one favorite. It's kind of like having one, uh, saying, what's your favorite kid? And I've got four kids and I, I couldn't say that. Have you enjoyed touring the state and going to book signings? And, and tell me about that. Oh, I sure have. And meeting a lot of people, it's a lot of fun. And I've got so many comments on how much they like the book, and it really makes you feel <coughs> good. Uh, well, Rich Press did a real good job. Are you going to do any subsequent books, any follow-up? It's possible, possible in the next year or two. Have there been any video works about your life or, or career? I mean, I've seen, uh, what's, what's the gentleman's name, Marshall? Uh, uh, is it uh, Bowden? Bowden. Uh, Bowden, right. I've seen uh, interviews and video. Uh, well, uh, of course, in January, Walt Grayson interviewed me about the book. I don't know if you've seen that or not. but I did see some clips. Uh, on Channel 3. And, and then I, I'm going to be on uh, Southern Expressions with Ron Brown uh, shortly. I, he interviewed me about two months ago. Does it have you wondering, why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I put out a book sooner? Well, I... Possibly, yeah. But, I mean, of course, uh, I, I'm still a young man. i got time for plenty more books. I saw, saw a, a, a clip of this woman who dro drove her car 3,000 miles to her high school reunion, and she's my, over, older than my mother. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just getting started. Do you ever foresee a time where you'll put the brush down, or do you think they'll pry it from your hand at the very end? Well, uh, uh I pry it from my hand. I imagine that'll be many years ago if the Lord blesses. Have you ever done sculpture? Have you ever oh, done yeah. any of the... You have? Yeah, I've done several pieces of sculpture and I've done uh, like a, a, a bust of my grandfather, life-size bust of my grandfather. And, and, and uh, I'm just not a sculptor because that's work. What? Painting is fun. <laughs> well, if, and if someone called you and said, uh, Gary, we'll pay you X amount of money to do a portrait. Do you do that kind of work? Or? I'm working on a portrait right now. I do any kind of painting and uh, it's, uh, you know, painting is painting to me. It doesn't matter if it's a portrait or what, but I just, I just like to put paint on paper. Well, my eight-year-old wanted me to ask you if crayons uh, are legitimate. Of art course, instruments. of course they are. Uh, many great works are done with crayons. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I know she's done some great works in crayon. Well, of course she has. And, you know, that's the wonderful thing. And I have to tell you, I, my, my little one, Dagny, would rather draw than do anything. And she illustrates books, and, and I'm encouraging that. And I hope mm -hmm. she doesn't, I hope that stays with her. Well, you that's know? the thing. If, if, if it stays, see, uh, like it did with me, then uh, she'll be an artist if it doesn't. See, you, you don't want to knock that out of her. You want like you say, just keep encouraging her. And, of course, it'll come one time you're going to have to discourage her from doing it. You have to call her for supper. Right. And, and and right now, probably, but even later, the older you get, and the, if you like, if you do painting, then you go more, the more you're going to want to do it. Well, and you don't want to badger your child, like, and it is different, but you know, these young kids playing baseball who ruin their arm when they're 14, or right. the ones who play football and have five concussions. Right. It's not a dangerous thing, but you know, there's some overzealous parents. And I'll agree. And, and that could probably set back a young artist too, could it not? Oh yeah. Well, if the parents like it so much, let them, let them do it themselves. Is it, is it ever too late to start? No. Look or start back? I mean, look at Grandma Moses. She was 72 or 4 when she started and she painted for quite a, quite a many years, quite many years. And uh, so, uh, no, it's never too late. Uh, it, that's the thing, like you said about painting, it's just not a dangerous thing, it's a fun thing. And you might as well have fun all your life. So you can, you can still become a, a good artist or even uh, work at it after the age of 40, 50. I mean, that, there's no limit to. If well, Grandma Moses could do it. At, at 75 or whatever she was, yeah, I believe so. 
she used That's, a primitive style, but which is very valid, and it doesn't. The, the, the love for painting doesn't matter about style. It matters about how much do you love to put it on the paper or the canvas. If you don't love it enough, you're not going to do it. If you do, you're going to do a lot of it. Gary, a controversial question to end it uh, or, or to wind it down. Do you think that photography is art, and do you think that computer graphic work is is bona fide art? I think they can be in certain instances. Photography doesn't depend on the camera, depends on the artist's eye. So if you don't have an artist's eye, you won't do a good photograph. So you got to be an artist to be a photographer. Gary Walters, I appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, you have touched a lot of lives. You touched mine. I gave it up, but maybe one day I'll take it back again. Well, you were a very good student, and I sure enjoyed having you. I'm well, so proud of you. Well, thank you, Gary. Delta Dreaming is the name of the book. It's available at Liberia uh, on Amazon.com, any bookstore you care to go to. And it's it's a beautiful book. It's on our coffee table, and we have to we have to watch people. You know, they, they walk out with it, and we have to tell them to come back in. They try to swipe the book. Well, I, I would imagine so. <laughs> That's the highest praise an author can get. I uh, appreciate it. Gary, thank you so much for being with us. I'm Jack Chris, folks. Thanks for listening to Enjoy. Profiles Mississippi this week. We want to thank David Russell again and Dave Kimball from 10beyond.com and Mr. Gary Walters in the studio. Enjoy it. ProfilesMS.com is the website. We'll have a new issue out soon, and we'll see you again next Tuesday. Until then, have a very pleasant week. I'm Jack Chris. Take care.